Hello everyone, I'm The Athletic Gamer here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I think the game of the month is for two th May 2014. You probably already know what it is. Here it is. Yep, Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 is a fun, fast-paced, competitive, and epic experience for everyone. The single-player experience is easily rewarding and highly, highly addictive. It is easier to unlock er everything than ever before, or at least the, um, easier than the last few Mario Kart games. The tracks really stand out with the anti-gravity HD graphics, amount of detail, there's a lot, and overall track design. The carts, bikes, ATVs, tires, and gliders are very unique, and they go along with the Mario series very well. Battle mode is one of the one of only a couple of flaws in this game. They tried to make it what it used to be, but they just didn't. They used tracks as battle arenas. Bad idea. Overall, the multiplayer experience for this game is amazing. It's a Mario Kart game. What else can I say? Um, there are many ways to play Mario Kart 8. You can use a gamepad. You can use gyroscope controls with the gamepad. You can use a Wii Remote and Nunchuck. You can take the Nunchuck off and just use the Wii Remote. Or you can also put the Wii Remote into a Wii Wheel and use that to steer. Also, you can... I think you can use a Classic Pro from the Wii. And also... A, I know you can use a Wii U Pro Controller, which is what I use most of the time. Uh, the online experience has few errors and is very addicting. You can pretty much go all night playing online races. It's very, very addicting. I've done that more than a few times. Also, you can turn your races into highlight reels and put them into slow motion, see all the details, see the character's mustaches moving, if they have one. Uh, you can see them looking around at, like, incoming items, you know, there's facial expressions and all that. And also... You can upload them to YouTube, as I have already done if you have seen my channel. Or at least checked it out. That's all I have for my game of the month for May 2014. Leave a comment saying which game you think should be the game of the month. And if you have any questions, then I'll try to answer them. Otherwise, please subscribe if you enjoyed. And have a nice day.